Welcome back to another video. Just wanted to share a quick experience that I had yesterday with uh, two local coin shops that I visited. I had gone to another county to drop off an order for a customer. And while I was down there, um, just decided to pull up a couple coin shops that were close to where I was at and never been to them, wanted to go visit. So first one I went to was in a strip mall. Uh, very, very, very low key, walked in, Doors wide open. Uh, cell staff is wearing polo shirts. Just, just pretty chill. And uh, so I'm just walking around, looking at things because I've never, never been in there. And and uh, as I'm doing that, uh, an elderly elderly lady walks in. And just as she crosses the threshold of the store, she you know yells out, "Hey, you guys got any silver gold for twenty three dollars?" And they're like what she goes yeah you got any of that that silver gold for for 23 dollars and they're like no we don't have any gold for that price but we have you know silvers in that range well, yeah i want some silver gold and they're like well we, we have some silver he's like yeah okay I, I want that she's like well what's the price and uh like well you know spots in the 23 dollar range but we're selling for around 26, I can't remember what the change was on it. And she's like, okay. And she's like, well, that, does that seem high to what it's been in, in the past? And she's like, no, that's about what it's been for the last week or two. She's like, okay. So she's like, well, I want, I want $5,000. And she yells this through the store. I mean, it's not a necessarily big store, but it's, uh, Everybody got the attention and looked at her. And there was probably four of us in the store at the time. And uh, which took me back because I was quite surprised that she just announced that she wanted $5,000 worth of silver. So she pops up her purse up onto the glass counter, starts rifling through it. And she's like, oh, I don't, I don't got any money. And they're looking at her like, okay. She's like, hold on, I'll be right back. So she leaves the store, about 30 seconds, comes back in and pulls out an envelope, pulls out her $5,000, and her and the salesperson start counting it out. And she starts talking about various uh, conspiracy theory things. And so I've kind of just tuned her out as, as she's talking and whatnot. And I'm looking around. So as the salesperson gets done writing up the paperwork and goes over to the scale to start putting the uh, the silver into the tubes. You know, she's like, I want a bucket because it's easier to carry. And I'm like, okay. And after a minute, it's been about five minutes since she announced her presence to everybody. She says, well, what I bought, is that a good deal? Is $26 a good deal for what I'm getting? And it kind of took me back by surprise that here she is announcing to the world she wants $5,000. And she has no clue what she's buying for that $5,000. She doesn't know if she's getting generic buffaloes. Or is she getting, this is not one, but is she getting silver eagles for that price? Or Libertads? Um, you know, are they charging her $35? $40 an ounce for something that because she doesn't know what she's getting and it, it just was surprising to me coming in there and I'm, I haven't been in the, the stacking game for a long time it's been first of this year that I really started heavily doing it but I would think that if you go into a store and you're going to pull out $5,000 in cash you would have a plan and that would plan would be hey I want to spend X amount of money on X items and I expect to get these items for that price and to just blatantly put the money down and hope that the person is reputable and they're not going to take advantage and you're actually going to get you know i would assume for that price at 26 dollars that i would expect buffaloes or a other generic round where i can maximize my weight where um you know, somebody could have taken advantage of her and given her, you know, eagles for $30, $31 an ounce. And she would have gotten far less amount of weight 
for her money. Maybe that's just the way I'm thinking about it. Maybe it doesn't, it doesn't matter on the end because she's still getting five thousand dollars worth of silver. But on the stacking side of it, I think you'd want to get five thousand dollars as close as spot as possible, especially since when you come in and saying, "Hey, you got silver and gold for twenty-three dollars." So uh, where I'm going with this is, for those of you that are new to this, you just kind of came across my channel and you're seeing this video. You know, have a plan when you're going to go to these these coin shops, so that uh, you, you know you have your your list of questions that you want to ask, and you have answers that you're expecting to get, so that both you and the the coin shop are all on the same page. Everybody has a good experience. And uh, you can go home and be, be happy with what you got. But also, I think you want to make sure you have some kind of a little bit of security mindset and be somewhat aware of your surroundings and not just blurt out that you're going to drop $5,000 in cash um, that you could, you know, potentially get robbed. I mean, this particular county is pretty calm when it comes to crime, but regardless... Uh, I think you just got to be mindful of, of your surroundings. Uh, and anyway, I left this coin shop. I wasn't planning to buy anything. I just wanted to visit it and see what they got. There was another coin shop just up the street. I drove to that. This one was a completely different experience. Um, as I went to the door, the door was actually locked. You had to be buzzed in by the staff. And they had a customer in there as well already. So as that customer was going out, I was going in. And these salespeople were very nice, but they were in... in Suits and, and shirts and ties. Um, very quiet in there. Just a completely different atmosphere. Very friendly. Very talkative. Uh, about just general stuff. They weren't trying to, uh, you know, just get my money and, and sell stuff, sell me things. Uh, you know, they were asking about the, a particular shirt I was wearing. Um, asking if I was in the military. And I'm like, no, I, I'm a screen printer, but my brother-in-law is in the military and is a rigger because I was wearing a rigger shirt that I made for him and his unit. And uh, anyway, so they were just making some small talk about, you know, just me and personal, being very personal with me and, and not, like I said, not trying to get into my wallet and, and sell my things. However, this store, when I asked to run, when I asked about their, their pricing, um, their buffaloes, you know, they were selling them for 28 to 29 um, and it was that 28 to 29, depending on the coin or the round. And then their, their Eagles were 33, $34, depending on the year. Um, which was a bit surprising. They were that, they were that high compared to what, uh, current pricing is online. But this store also seemed to be a lot more about, U.S. currency, old U.S. currency, U.S. coins, because one whole side of the of the small shop was uh, pennies, nickels, dimes, all up to a dollar in coin uh, from you know 1800s, 1700s. So it seemed like that's more of what they were focusing on, and their bullion side was a bit thinner. Uh, they still had a few counters and shelving with it, but not as much as they had and, and i get that there's you, know, you can come across a lot more pennies and put them in flips and all kinds of stuff but it just kind of seemed like what they had more of but it was just it was just a a, a different experience to see the contrast between the two different stores so anyway i just want to share that that uh that experience i had with you guys let me know in the comments what you guys's experiences are like and what your thoughts are I appreciate you guys. I know your time is valuable. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you have and you haven't done it yet, please hit the like button. It does help the YouTube algorithm. But you've also hit the subscribe button as I'm working on my goal to 500 subscribers by Christmas. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.